AP Calculus A, B, Implicit Differentiation at a Point. So I'm going to show you how to do this by hand because there will be some simple examples on the uh, AP exam and there will be some more difficult ones that will be on the calculator portion. So I'm going to do two calculator videos after this. So hopefully you'll take a quick look at those also if you get a chance to. But let's do this. Hopefully we can agree on this. First off that we have this, is, this function is implicit. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to look at this this way and I'm going to say I have x times y. And the way that I'm going to do that is that I'm actually going to say that my intention is to take d dx of x, y equals 6. And that means that I'm going to take d dx of x, y, and I'm going to take d dx of 6. d dx of 6 is 0, isn't it? Right? The derivative of this, this is a horizontal line, is 0. So now we have this. This is the product rule, isn't it? So I'm going to take this as a product rule problem. So by doing that, I'm just going to break this up, and I'm going to say let f of x equal x, let f prime at x equal 1, uh, g is equal to y, and g prime is equal to dy dx. Or you could call it y prime if you want to, however you want to describe that. Now I'm going to use the product rule, and the product rule just simply says that we're going to do this, right? The product rule says we're going to take f of x times g prime at x plus g of x times f prime at x, <clears throat> and that's going to be our derivative, right? So that's going to be our derivative. So f of x is x. The first derivative of that is dy dx, right? I'm getting that from here off my little list. Plus, I'm just following through on the product rule, g of x is equal to y. Remember, f prime x is equal to 1, so I'll leave it like that, but just so you know, that's how I got it, right? Is equal to 0. Took the derivative there. So now I'm just going to try to separate this out and get my, right? It says here that we want dy dx, so I'm going to start trying to separate everything from that. So, right, here's my goal is to get this piece by itself. So if you don't mind, I'm going to add negative y to both sides. That gives me x dy dx. I'm going to divide both sides by x, which gives me dy dx is equal to negative y over x. <clears throat> so there's my, there's my implicit derivative. And now we're asked to find the derivative when we have the point negative 6, negative 1. Well, that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that in. This negative sign is this one. The y value provided to us was also was negative 1 here, wasn't it? And the x value, which goes down here, was negative 6. Therefore, we get an answer of negative 1 sixth. All right? Look, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you uh, haven't already subscribed, please do. Your comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.